Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Ashish Webcast. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the next video of how to set up two tier PKI environment series. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel Ashish Webcast and please watch my other videos as well. You will get the link for my other videos in the description box. So let's start this video without any further delay. So in this video, we will perform post installation configuration task on the subordinate issuing CA and we will configure the AIA and CDP for issuing CA as well. So right now I am logged in on CA2 which is enterprise issuing CA in my lab. So we need to first set what will be the validity for CRL and Delta CRL. For that, need, for that, we need to run a couple of commands. So I have set the CRL period units as one and the time for that CRL will be weeks and the Delta, the CR, uh, Delta CRLs will be for one day. So after that, I need to uh, set the CRL overlap uh, period and units. So I'll run couple of more command so this sets that so it says we need to start the service but we will not do that because we have to configure the AIA and CDP as well so let's configure the AIA first so this is the command it, it will set the AIA let's hit enter so it changed the old values to the new values so it has set uh, this path and the LDAP path and the HTTP path. Okay. Now we will configure the CDP path. So let's clear the screen. We can configure our CDP and AIA via the UI from the uh, certificate authority, but uh, doing it from the command prompt is easy. So I have copied the command. I'll run it. So it has published. So now we will restart the service. So right click on the Ashish webcast issuing CA and stop the service and start the service. So the service is started now. Now we will again publish the Delta CRL and CRL. So click on the revoked certificate, click on all task, click on publish, and choose new CRL and click OK. And then again go back to the revoked certificate, right click on that, go to all task, click on publish, and this time publish the Delta CRL. Click on OK. So now it's published. Let's check that. So we can go inside the path C window system 32 set SRV certain row. Here we can see that the CRLs are published right now. It's 438 and the Delta CRLs as well. So we have published the CDP and AIA path both. After that, what we will do, we will keep this the issuing CA certificate and base CRL and Delta CRL on the uh, on the uh, on the path in HTTP server. So for that we need to we can connect to the HTTP server or we can directly access the path. So in my case it is server one dot ashishwebcast dot com. We need to access the C drive. So we, we created a cert indoor folder. So here we have the, okay, we already got the Delta CRLs. We will keep the certificate. Apart from that, we will also get the uh, root CA certificate and CRL on this, on this HTTP path cert indoor. So we can similarly, I can go to the root CA. 
because I, I can directly navigate to the C drive of offline root CA from here. So I'll type the IP address 196.101.4. In production environment, you won't be able to do that. So you need to again copy the uh, the uh, CRLs and Delta CRL uh, from the offline root CA using the removable media. So let's go to C Windows System 32. Then it will be same folder, set SRV, set enroll, and here we have the certificate and the CRL. So this is the correct one, the first CRLs and certificate. I'll copy this and paste it on the HTTP virtual directory. So it's done. That's all. Uh, we, uh, so in this video, we perform the post installation configuration task on the issuing CA and we also configured AIA and CDP for issuing CA and we moved the, the root CA uh, certificate and the CRL to the HTTP virtual directory. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Till then, bye and take care.